All right, a shallow on my account. First and foremost, I think give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rikah Kodash, Dabon City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called God, who the world ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the most sign the son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh means he to be, or he is. Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shah means he delivers. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah and Brak the Yahweh. Brak the Yahweh Shah, Brak the Yahweh. Brak the Yahweh Shah. And the body Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah for another blessed day. The body Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. For your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And why do y'all buy Shimia with Shah for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth? All right, coming back, catch you another lesson through the Holy Spirit. So this video is going to be about this um this rare recording it was recorded around 1967 about the Rothschild dynasty and the three world wars. So before I get into this um um that, that footage, that recording. You must realize and know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is in full control. All right? And all these different kingdoms that came and went, it was for his purpose, for his pleasure. Same thing as America and the wicked being ruled. So prophecy can be fulfilled. Now Esau has reached the end of his rulership, and he's been living a lot, been living, been and perpetrating the lie throughout the four corners of the earth. And it d did it through different factions of secrecy, secret societies, and many different things. All these things are recorded in the Holy Scriptures. And the Mosai got his chosen spirits, the elect, starting off the 144,000, the prophets, to expose these things thoroughly and bring it to the rest of the, uh, the small remnant, also to bring it to the, to the ears of our people and, and prophesy against this evil kingdom. All right, so uh, without further ado, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5, and it says, I am Yahweh. That's why it's all caps, means he to be or he is, and there is none else. There was no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. So, you know, once upon a time, Scripture clearly says that we're going to discontinue from our heritage and um, inherit the land of America. Where we have been put to shame, this is where we, we remember our name. So it's been a, been a minute since we, it's been a while we were detached from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it started around the late 1960s for us coming back to who, who we really are, pursuant to um, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Okay? That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the east that there is none besides me. I am Yahweh and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. Remember this. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Do Yahweh Shai the angelic forces, man. All the, you got to read uh, Colossians, the first chapter, and it breaks it down. So there's no different according to the Illuminati. It's no different according to, the, to this modern day Roman Empire what's going on. This kingdom was set up for the sake of prophecy so the biblical scriptures can be fulfilled. Another, another um, precept you want to look at is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The start of verse 3, it says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. So this is a commitment. The most size call us into, man, till, you know, to the grave. 
Yahweh Shalom, come back and deliver us. All right? So our thoughts shall be established so the most I, you know, take care of us to our walks of life and different factions of things that we need. Ultimately, the, the thoughts we, we, we try to be established is the kingdom. All right? The Lord had made all things for himself. Yea, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right? Even the wicked, the three classification of beings on this earth. You got the sons of God, soon to all, uh, Genesis, the sixth chapter, those are the Israelites. You got the sons of men, who are the other nations, and you got the sons of the wicked, the so-called white race, the Edomites. The Mosai created them for these evil days, so prophecy can be fulfilled. So upon them ruling this planet Earth and the way they've been, been running it, you know, people, you know, don't that doesn't have the light, the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, they have joined themselves unto them. Our people, you got a lot of sellouts in Israel and the and the other nations, our, even our women. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So under this white man's white supremacy, Edomite supremacy. They, they, they became very proud through their power, through their, their deceit, through their lies, through their wars, everything. But they shall not go unpunished. Now, here it is. The question of how and why the United Nations is the crux of the great conspiracy to destroy the sovereignty of the United States and the enslavement of the American people within a UN one world dictatorship is a complete and unknown mystery to the vast majority of the American people. The reason for this unawareness of the frightening danger to our country and to the entire free world is simple. The masterminds behind this great conspiracy have absolute control of all of our mass communications media, especially television, the radio, the press, and Hollywood. We all know that our State Department, the Pentagon, and the White House have brazenly proclaimed that they have the right and the power to manage the news to tell us not the truth, but what they want us to believe. They have seized that power on orders from their masters of the great conspiracy. And the objective is to brainwash the people into accepting the phony peace bait to transform the United States into an enslaved unit of the United Nations One World Government. Is that our so-called leaders in Washington whom we elected to safeguard our nation and our constitution are the betrayers and that behind them are a comparatively small group of men whose sole objective is to enslave the whole world of humanity in their satanic plot of one world government. Now as a matter of further intelligence, a term used by the FBI let me clarify the meaning of the expression, he is a liberal. The enemy, meaning the one world conspirators, have seized upon that word liberal as a cover up for their activities. Now peep this, the word liberal is actually in the scriptures. All right, liberal. I think I spelled it wrong. L-I. Yep. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. It says, The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl shall be bountiful. For the vile person will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity. That's who? The elites of the society and their agents to practice hypocrisy. And to other error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry 
He will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments also of the churl are evil. All right. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak it right. So this is this, uh, the situation we're in as a people. Exactly what this man is breaking down. This is the system that's been set up for quite some time. Now the Lord is exposing it because they're on their way out. It sounds so innocent and so humanitarian to be liberal. Well, make sure that the person who calls himself a liberal or is described as a liberal is not in truth a red. Now then, this satanic plot was launched back in the 1760s when it first came into existence under the name of the Illuminati. This Illuminati was organized by one Adam Weishaupt, born a Jew, who was converted to Catholicism and became a Catholic priest. And then, at the behest of the then newly organized House of Rothschild, defected and organized the Illuminati. Naturally, the Rothschilds financed that operation. And every war since then, beginning with the French Revolution, has been promoted by the Illuminati operating under various names and guises. In the United States, they set up what they called the Council on Foreign Relations, commonly referred to as the CFR. And this CFR is actually the Illuminati in the United States and its hierarchy the masterminds in control of the CFR, to a very great extent, are the descendants of the original Illuminati conspirators. But, to conceal that fact, most of them changed their original family names to American-sounding names. For example, the true name of the Dillons, Clarence and Douglas Dillon, once Secretary of the U.S. Treasury Department, is Lepowski. There is a similar establishment of the Illuminati in England, operating under the name of the British Institute of International Affairs. There are similar secret Illuminati organizations in France, Germany, and other nations, operating under different names. But at all times, the operations of these organizations were and are masterminded and controlled by the internationalist bankers who in turn were and are controlled by the Rothschilds. Now just why did the conspirators choose the word Illuminati for their satanic organization? Weishaupt himself said that the word is derived from Lucifer and means holders of the light. You Holders of the light. You know what scripture I'm going to? Isaiah chapter of 14. All right. Hallowed thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer. All right. Let me start at um, verse 11. It says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave in the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under, under, under thee, and the worms cover thee. Right? It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, the holders of the light? Here it is, right in the scriptures, dealing with the Edomites, the elites of the society, the light bearers. There it is. Weaken the nations to, through debt, through lies, through war, to fulfill a, a, a satanic plot, it, which they're going to try to fulfill a satanic plot, a new world order. It says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. Then with him being in the skies, making up the space, but did not go to the moon, due to the fact of the radiation belts as around the earth. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation the size of the north. 
I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And those are the Edomites, the elites of this society. It is plain and simple. Okay. Using the lie that his objective was to bring about a one world government to enable those with mental ability to govern the world and prevent all wars in the future. In short, using the word peace on earth as his bait, perhaps the most vital directive in Weishaupt's plan was to obtain absolute control of the press so that all news and information could be slanted so that the masses could be convinced that a one world government is the only solution to our many and varied problems. Now do you know who owns and controls our mass communications media? I'll tell you practically all the movie lots in Hollywood is owned by the layman's Kuhn Loeb and Company, Goldman Sachs, and other internationalist bankers. All the national radio and TV channels in the nation are owned and controlled by those same internationalist bankers. In 1834, the Italian revolutionary leader Giuseppe Mazzini was selected by the Illuminati to direct their revolutionary program throughout the world. Mazzini had enticed an American general named Albert Pike into the Illuminati. Pike was fascinated by the idea of a one world government and ultimately he became the head of this Luciferian conspiracy. Between 1859 and 1871, he, Pike, worked out a military blueprint for three world wars and various revolutions throughout the world here we go. All right, one woe. One woe. It's all scriptural, man. It is all biblical. It is all prophecy taking place. Revelation, the ninth chapter, goes into World War I. All right, is it, it is all symbolic and parabolic when you read about uh, the different um, creatures that, that is uh, described. In this whole chapter, dealing with the locust, the uh the scorpion with the tail, something not scorpion with a tail. I wanna um misquote verse seven is the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepare unto battle. So it's dealing with the warplanes. The warplanes that, that they use in World War One to fight those different um, you know, to fight those battles. All right, so it's symbolic. So when you go into um, Revelations 9 and 12, it says, One more is past, and behold, behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So that's the one woe is in World War I. Then you have World War II, and we are, you know, getting ready for World War III. Okay? Which he considered would forward the conspiracy to its final stage in the 20th century. Long before Marconi invented radio, the scientists in the Illuminati had found the means for Pike and the heads of his councils to communicate secretly. It was the discovery of that secret that enabled intelligence officers to understand how apparently unrelated incidents, one such as the assassination of an Austrian prince at Sarajevo, took place simultaneously throughout the world, which developed into a war or a revolution. So that's how World War I started. Pike's plan was as simple as it has proved effective. It called for communism, Nazism, political Zionism, and other international movements be organized and used to foment three global world wars and at least two major revolutions. World War III is to be fomented by using the so-called controversies, the agents of the Illuminati, operating under whatever new name. So all these people that you see in office are in power are agents of the elites. Different presidents, different, in different nations. Vladimir Putin is the agent. 
But who's in full control? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Are now stirring up between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Muslim world. That war is to be directed in such a manner that all of Islam and political Zionism, Israel, will destroy each other, while at the same time, the remaining nations, once more divided on this issue, will be forced to fight themselves into a state of complete exhaustion, physically, mentally, spiritually, and economically. So this is, so that's it. This is where we are today. Let's go to the third woe. Third woe. Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe was passed. That's World War II. And behold, the third woe coming quickly. So everything that's happening for those that's in the light. We are the true light bearers. So, you know, this is all according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai prophecy, the holy scriptures. And this and the, um, the elites of the society, the illuminated ones, which is you know written about in the scriptures when you go to um Psalm 64th chapter, you know, and how we get this enlightenment ultimately through the Holy Spirit, and we have great teachers, or you different upstarts coming around that used to be with us, and you where do you think they got these where do you think they got they understand these scriptures from, man? You know, but these things must be. This is Psalm 64. I'm going to start at verse 1. Yeah, yeah. It says, Hear my voice, O God, and my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. The secret counsel. So, so the Illuminati faction over America, like the guy said, is the council on foreign relations. Each different countries, whatever, they have their own factions of agents with a plan that they want to execute for the new world order. But it's not going to, going to be fulfilled. For the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. That's the man of sin. Iniquity means sin. All right. How they, 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 how they formulate this insurrection is through Satanism, through witchcraft, through a higher level of demonology. All right. The, the satanic, satanic demon, uh, Satan works from the Mosai and Mosai gave him orders for them to, uh, to complete on this earth so, so biblical prophecy can be fulfilled. That's in the book of Job. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bow to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So, you know, their pride of their heart has deceived them, but the Mosai uh, is raising up the elect. So they are in fear. Right? So they are in fear. So yeah, man. So giving all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shah and Lord willing is an edifying lesson unto the very elect and shalom.